a tease of Modi government India smartphone. For trusted traders inspections need to be less intrusive, this means less boxes opened, Apple wrote. Each of the demands outlined in Apple's letter is designed to cut through red tape that stands in the way of manufacturing iPhone in India, which itself is a hurdle to lowering hardware prices in a bid to spur local sales. Apple wants higher exemptions since there are not many high-end phone component makers in India to buy from, said another government official quoted by HT. But Apple Inc.'s long list of demands including tax concessions and several other policy exceptions, still faces resistance from officials who consider it excessive and unfair on foreign companies already operating in India. Company executives are scheduled to meet with officials later this month to discuss conditions of setting up shop, which according to the letter involves iPhone manufacturing, Apple retail stores, pre-owned iPhone imports and local refurbishing capabilities. The official said that any exception for the iPhone manufacturer will defeat the purpose of an integrated policy. Just today, the country's information technology minister, Ravi Shankar Prasad, said his government will adopt an open mind when it examines Apple's requests. I don't see the government of India making discriminatory policies, said Arvind Vora, chief executive at Jini India, part of Chinese smartphone maker Jini. Attracting such a household name would be a valuable advertisement for a country shaking off a reputation for stifling bureaucracy, but officials are wary of tailoring rules to individual investors. A handful of Chinese OEMs have already set up production plants in the country under Foxconn. Thanks for viewing this tease. Sign up for the Tip Top Tech channel or search for a tease second mind on YouTube to find and then enjoy other teas.